everybody. Hope you have had a wonderful Wednesday. I'm just here to do a quick outfit of the day. Um, I really liked this outfit. It was the first time I kind of put these things together and I think I'll do it again. It was just comfy and warm and cozy and um, it was it was a good day. Besides all that, my cold's almost gone, so I think anything would have felt good today. All right, so real quickly, um, I just have this black wool, um, about three quarter length um, dress here, dress tunic, I think it's more of a dress. It is a BCBG, I believe, or Max Edition, might be Max Edition. And I know that's hard to pick up on camera, but it has this placard here with um, six black buttons. Can you see that? Yeah. All right, so then <clears throat> over that, I wore this really pretty pashmina that my teacher assistant gave me for Christmas last year. She got it at a local boutique here in town. And I just love it. It's warm and cozy and so soft and love that animal print. If you don't have something animal print um, in a pashmina in your wardrobe, pick one up. Do yourself a favor. You'll wear it so much and it just really jazzes up anything you're wearing. So um, love this leopard scarf. In fact, Stella and Dot has a fabulous scarf. You know how much I've been enjoying my poppy scarf with the elephants. Um, we have an animal print in our Bryant scarf, so check that out. Underneath, um, I just wore the scarf because it was so chilly today. I did end up wearing my scarf all day. Um, and all I did to loop it today, real quick, was just to fold it in half here and then throw it around your neck and pull it through. And then um, I just kind of zhuzh that a little bit. All right, so then underneath though, I did wear this, I love this necklace. It's a bib and it's one of those Facebook flash sale um, items that I picked up. I guess it was this fall, late summer, early fall, and it's in that ever popular mint green. And I didn't wanna go mint green crazy with my wardrobe because I realized this is a, probably a pretty big trend color. I'm looking for a neat pashmina in this color. I've been looking on Etsy and things like that, um, which is in fact where I got my earrings. I'll share those in a minute. But I thought this was a neat way to kind of do a trend color. So there's a little tidbit of advice for you. If there is a color that you're thinking you wouldn't gravitate towards year after year, for me it's something like a mint. I'm loving it right now, but it's kind of in pants and sweaters and dresses and shirts and scarves and jewelry. And I think it's going to be one of those great colors for a year or two. And then I think we're going to look back and say, oh, remember when that color was everywhere? So kind of like a chevron stripe. I think chevron stripes are gorgeous, but I think it's gonna end up being a little bit of a trend. So I tend to go a little bit easier with um, trend pieces like that. So a great way to do it is to pick up a piece of jewelry. Um, and it really does bring that color to your wardrobe while keeping um, kind of your more basics um, at the forefront of your closet and um, budget and all that stuff. So. Um, but it's just this really cool bib with these big mint green um, stones here, and it's got some silver beading. And then <clears throat> something I love about it is that the tie in the back is actually like t-shirt material. So, um, you know, you just tie it in a bow, so it's real easy to do at any length. And I just wore it today um, underneath my scarf for just a little bit of color. Didn't necessarily plan on doing that, but I kind of like the way that ended up turning out. So there's that. And then I had actually purchased these earrings. I'm not real sure how to say it. I think it's like Cabo Chan, something like that. I'm sure I'm butchering that name, but it's just kind of that enamel um, material. And they're just these little studs and they're in that same mint green and they're just these gorgeous little flowers. So I don't know how well that's gonna focus on my little camera there, but I really like those. So again, you know, I always say, if you're gonna do a statement necklace, go a little easy with your earring. You don't wanna do statement and statement. So I wouldn't wear anything like my Chantilly lace earrings or big hoops or anything like that. I like a little stud. So I just like the color that that brought to this um, very black outfit. So I'll back up in a second so you can see the rest. But other jewelry, wedding ring of course, wedding band. And then this was a ring that I picked up at a local junior league shopping spree 
We have it every year and I look so forward to it. I do a lot of my Christmas shopping really early. But this is just a Yerman expired, uh, expired, inspired ring. And it just has a black stone here in the middle and then crystals around and kind of that signature Yerman um, braided, uh, not braided, twisted rope um, band, double band there. And then I loved it because it reminded me of Stella. I'm always showing you those little um, neat signatures, and I'll show you a second on my bracelets, the little signatures of Stella, and one of them is the heart. And on the side, you can see right there, um, our little hearts. So I, I just, I really liked that. So I, I tend to grab something like that when I go to that shopping spree. And then bracelet-wise today, I wore two real delicates from Stella. These are both of our breast cancer awareness bracelets from the previous two years, being last year and this year. This was the Courage bracelet from last year, and this is the Hope bracelet from this year. So beautiful bracelets. They're both in rose gold mixed with um, a hematite gunmetal color, but done in different ways. So the Courage bracelet from last year is this rose gold bar with all these gorgeous crystals, um, kind of done in a pave. And then the bracelet are these, look at the way that catches the light, these gorgeous uh, gunmetal colored crystals. So hopefully you can see that well. And it just has a real easy string closure that you pull and then you just pull the, the sides of the string. So real easy to slip on and off by yourself. And then the Hope bracelet from this year, is also done in rose gold and you can see it's an angel wing and if you watched my video from last night where I was talking about the awesome promotion um, buy one gift one is what we're calling it where you buy one of our fixed pendant charm necklaces and Stella and Dot will gift an accessory to a female um, I hate to say affected by the military but involved and um, a part of the military in some way whether it be a veteran whether it be um, a wife or a daughter so um, that angel wing is on one of our pendants that goes with that promotion and it's in silver so check that out because it's a really neat neat piece um, and I love the intricate detail um, just in the way that that piece is made and the way it catches the light it's it's just so sweet so check those out but this is the hope bracelet from this year and so like I said, it has the rose gold angel wing and then rose gold beads. And they're really, really cool. Um, they're very dimensional and I just, I love them. And then it has a gray rope detail. And then again, that easy closure. And there's one of those little signatures. There's one more little rose gold bead right there on the end. And yep, there it is. One of those gorgeous little Stella and Dot hearts, and it has the Stella and Dot signature on one side. So I love those details. So that's just what I did real easy with my Stella and Dot today. So easy to wear. Grab something like that. These are great, easy, easy, cheap price points too. Um, really good for stocking stuffers or gifting to a teacher. I'm a teacher. I know I'd be floored if I got something like this instead of love them, but a snowman mug or another bottle of lotion, something like this can go um, a long way and can have a lot of meaning behind it. You know, hope and courage. Every teacher needs a lot of courage and a lot of hope. So um, those are great ideas. All right, so that's jewelry, scarf, dress. I'm gonna back up so you can see I just wore black leggings and my ever faithful Steve Madden boots that were new to me this year from DSW. They're distressed. They're a really great, um, rich chocolate color, um, and they just look like I've had them for years. So flat, comfy, wonderful. I'm gonna back up so you can see. All right, so I'm hoping that's not too dark. You can see my boots here. They're knee high. I've just got black leggings on today, nothing special. And then this black wool um, tunic dress, and that's it. So I hope you guys have had a very fabulous, wonderful Wednesday, and I'll catch you next time. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Comment below. Shoot me an email if you're interested in ordering or participating in our gift one, um, buy one, gift one promotion. It's um, good through December 17th, and I would love to help you style your wardrobe and your life. So shoot me an email, comment below, and I'll speak with you soon. Bye-bye.